So I was going to take this coil out. First of all, I'm going to pop the wire off. Easy enough. I don't drop your nut down there, whatever you do. <laughs> Just pop plugs down there. I was going to do a spark test as well, but my spark plug tester doesn't fit in a coil on plug. But anyway, these coil on plugs have got three. Wires in. If they've only got two, that means it's just a coil, but usually there's three. Uh, it's got a coil, and well, a power and a ground to your coil, and a signal to obviously collapse the magnetic circuit and create the spark. But anyway, it's going to test between. The only thing you can do really is test between them and make sure you've got no short circuits and uh, no open circuits there's a test between all three that one's good forward to one, looks like your coil and the last test. Is 40,000 kilograms again. So basically I've tested up between all. There's no shorts. No open circuits. And getting pretty decent readings. In the killer ohms. So I'm happy with that one. That's a good coil. I mean you can inspect them as well. This one's got some cracking down the sides, so it could be going. So just inspect them as well, make sure there's no degradation like there is on this one. 